I mean, one of the fun things about being an actor is every once in a while you get to really like peek into someone else's life. And uh, I was probably never going to end up uh, meeting a DEA agent, uh, you know. So hopefully, unless, hopefully, hopefully, in right. the right circumstances. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so I went to Arizona to meet with him, and he walked me through everything that really happened and what it was like. Showed me all these old photos, and and the guy. I mean, I wish we had a photo of him. I mean, he looks like he looked like Kid Rock. Yeah. I mean, he had. I got like, to meet him as well. Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, he had like hair down to here. He was, like, working in Miami in the 80s doing, like, undercover uh, buy bus, like, so going to meet drug dealers to buy. Mm. And um, so, you know, he, he was used to kind of high-pressure situations. And what he told me about working in Cali was you just didn't know who was working for the cartel. Mm. Taxi drivers, police, mm. military. And there was really no DEA office there. So they were kind of out of their territory in, in all ways. So it wasn't, um, it was, they had to be extremely careful and, and sort of like always doing counter espionage tactics, like always aware of who was watching them. They would pose as, as like German tourists and like hang out at this overlook where there was a, there's a photo in the opening credits of them standing in front of a building posing like tourists, but that was the building they suspected Miguel Rodriguez was living in. So that's how they got that photo, you know, so it's, it was an interesting um, hearing, but it was like behind the scenes. <laughs>